So today was a nice way to start our week. We had plenty of sunshine at the beginning of the day. We were hitting those 80s still, 79 here in Baton Rouge, low 80s for Gonzales. We're actually seeing some mid 70s, Thibodeau at 76, Homa at 73. But overall, it's been a warm day. We're going to continue with warm conditions as we go into tonight. And as we go into tonight, we're seeing more clouds rolling in. Right now, there are some out there, but even more so going into your overnight into tomorrow morning. This is taking a look. You can see we're not going to cool off that much. 68 for a lot of us here. We're seeing Baton Rouge at 68. So I'm getting into the upper 60s. So we'll see maybe one or two lingering in the 70s. And then, yes, we do have the possibility of seeing some storms ahead of the line that's going to be coming through on Tuesday morning. So it's going to be an active overnight and into your Tuesday. So we're seeing throughout our area enhanced slight and marginal risk. So what we can expect with that is for the slight and the enhanced, we're seeing some strong winds, heavy rainfall, and of course some hail is possible. And we'll watch to see because our winds are coming in from the south, we're going to see if there are going to be any spin-ups and possibility of tornadoes forming. But right now, it is just strong storms that are going to get to that severe potential. And that lingers into your Tuesday as well, because this is looking at through Tuesday and into the rest of the day. We're still under that slight risk. And the enhanced does move off towards Mississippi and Alabama, but we're still going to have that possibility of, again, seeing strong winds and heavy rainfall. So you know those roads that like to flood pretty easily around here when one storm comes through? You'll want to watch out for those as you go into your morning commute tomorrow or anything that's going to be happening throughout the day because, again, Monday, we're gonna, Monday night we're seeing one or two overnight showers and storms. Tuesday is looking at 6 o'clock in the morning. You see there's that line of storms, but ahead of it we're seeing one or two isolated storms that are going to be popping up across our area. So that could quickly push through and you think it might be over, but as we go into 10, this is taking a look at 10 in the afternoon, still another round of showers and storms coming through. That's why the big threat is winds coming off of this and a lot of rainfall. We're seeing about close to 2 inches for some areas. And of course, you know those roadways better than a lot of people that are going to be flooding. But by 3 o'clock and into the rest of your evening on Tuesday, this is looking at Tuesday at 3 o'clock, starting to clear out, starting to clear the clouds out a little bit. But we're still not out of the woods with our rain chances because last couple weeks when we had that storm that came through, it would cool us down and dry us out. But that's not going to be happening till later. So taking a look at our rainfall amounts. We're seeing about two inches here in Baton Rouge. Some areas are going to be seeing about two and a half, one inch for a few areas. So we're going to watch to track how much rain we do get. Again, want to be watching your roadways for the next couple of days because strong winds and flooding are the big threats for Tuesday morning for the start of your day. And then it's going to be nice for the rest of the week. So again, we have some flood alerts in effect for the northern parishes, and that's going to continue for a few areas as well. And it's going to be warm and humid as we go into your Tuesday. 84 and upper 80s are going to be possible coming through on Wednesday because we hit 86. And then the cold front comes through on Thursday. We're starting to see 70s come back, upper 60s on Friday, overnight lows, low 40s. So this cold front, besides bringing a, quite a bit of rain coming through on Tuesday, does cool us down quite a bit Thursday and into Friday. Then we get back to the 80s. So. I know you guys are going to be sitting there 